have a meal together, and we walk through a region together, hand in hand, through whatever village is hosting our events. So we present a very unified face wherever we go throughout the Holy Land. We also uh, bring Palestinians into Israel, and we also go into Palestine to perform this. To call upon Abraham to say, hey, my feuding children, you don't need to fight anymore. You're doing this over my memory. You are brothers. You are family. If this year we will be 150 people, next year we will be? 150,000. 150, it's one of the only places in all of the Holy Land, in all of the world that I know, that is an active mosque and an active synagogue in the same building. So we started with this group of holy beings who were living in the midst of real trauma. Ilana said, it's unimaginable the level of trauma that we live in. When I go to Israel or Palestine for two or three weeks, I can feel every breath is filled with that energy of trauma. And somehow, what comes out of it? The people here. Real faith, real belief, real spiritual experience. Not concepts, not metaphors, not we should all do this, not we're all one, but the actual experience of God coming through different ways and forms. It was a mystery. Uh, when I first sat in the room, I thought, what is going on? Look at all these strange people coming together. And they just open their arms and tell exactly what they think and what they feel. And I started falling in love with them. And I saw that the reunion was uh, for all of us, for the world. <laughs> If we, we don't have a love and peace in us, how we can bless it to the neighbor, to the nation? We have to live in love and peace. Why the problem between the neighbors? Because we're scared to, to know them. I say him tomorrow, good morning. And next day he'll tell me, who are you? What's your name? After tomorrow he will knock my door. I can have to come to have a coffee. Thank God, many been here in my home. I believe that peace is possible in Palestine and Islam. I believe that there is conflict. Without hope, there is no life. You have to have hope. Uh, and I do. As seeing incredible work that these wonderful people are doing has given me hope. In each of us is the same DNA, in each of us is the same history, and most importantly, in each of us, even in the most horrible one of us, there is the seed of love. And by showing up, that's what we can do. We can give that seed water and it will flourish, it will flourish and it will nourish.